Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new meta minor wallbreaker control deck that's been absolutely destroying recently inside of Clash Royale, one of the highest win percentage ladder decks in the game right now. Right here is a 3.3 elixir uh, wallbreaker minor deck. Executioner NATO Valkyrie obviously is the defensive core of this season and he also had the rocket in there guys for a bit of rocket ship cycle action. Overall, according to Real API, recently inside of Clash Royale on the top of that leaderboard, this deck on ladder has the second highest win percentage out of all of the popular decks being played on the leaderboard right now in the game. So, second highest win percentage guys. Uh Obviously indicates that it might be a pretty solid deck. Uh, obviously, wall breakers were nerfed in the balance update, but they still are a viable card as it seems right now in Clash Royale. They were obviously way too strong beforehand. Now probably just more in line with everything else this season. So this guy, man, this guy. Ooh, nothing like a little night action to get your day started, guys. Let's go Valkyrie here. Going to be some sort of a uh, hog Rider deck is my guess. Gonna see a, oh, oh my goodness. That right there, my dear friends, is an RG. Just rock at that. Because why not? You know what I'm saying? They say why? And I say why not? Well, is here to support my Valkyrie. He's gonna go ahead with a bowler. Ice Bear Tesla. Ice Bear Tesla log. Alright. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. He's got Tesla in a RG deck? That just means that pretty nasty. One of these right here, boys. Let's just go go crazy right now. Nice. Basket to work done, please. There we go. Alright. Wait for it. That one little bat that could, eh? Alright, we're gonna go Valkyrie here on top of this musketeer once she gets closer. Valkyrie right meow. And I'll see if it gives us any rocket value here. Sir? Sir. Earth to person. Come on, he's gonna lock it back right now? He has to. Tell a choice, my dude. Tell a choice. Miner here. Let's see if he uh, predicts the location. He does not. Let's back here. No RG damage done. And we also destroy the uh, the knight, which isn't too bad at all. Okay, so now this is where things get interesting, boys. He's got a musketeer coming down here. We haven't seen any spells from him yet. Something like this. We have seen uh we have seen the, the log though. We know that much. Oh he predicts it perfectly this time. Well played, dude. Well played, man. How'd you know? How'd you know? Alright, I see ya. Is here? Is here? We'll take a few RG shots, but I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. Okay. Kind of an annoying deck by him, though, eh? With the Tesla in there and the RG? Is that just me? Am I the only one that thinks that? That's kind of a little bit annoying. Sir. Sir. I do not appreciate your plays right now, sir. Please stop it. Get their Valkyrie, please. <sighs> She's hitting that tower as well, guys. She's hitting that tower as well. Oh, this skeleton's almost hit us. Oh my goodness. That would have been so good. That would have been so good. Dang, Daniel. One of these? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kill the Tesla, please. Nice. Where's your NATO, dude? Where's your NATO? He doesn't have NATO. Shame, what are you talking about? Got logged, though. He's playing very defensively now. Which is a smart play on his behalf. But, watch and learn, my dear friend. Watch and learn. There we go. Look at this musketeer right here. We need one more rocket to win. He's got to go def uh, super heavy RG here. 
which I will promptly nail back here in a moment. He logs it. RG still shoots from the river, though. Y'all ready for this? This is the pro minor plant right here, boys. Right there. Oh, the fireball to the cane tower. Mm. He mad. He mad, dude. He mad. Oh, his deck was so annoying, though. Tesla RG. Yikes, man. But, as they say, dudes and dudettes, we keep on going over here. They say, as they say, they do, as they do. And in the end, I'll, I'm just going to stop, sorry. <laughs> uh, the cringe. Alright, let's go a bit of a minor bats action over here on the right. You going to zap it? E-Wizard. Oh, Snowball was my next guess. I'm totally smart, dude. We just guessed it out of three guesses, man. Mega Minion. Get away from my tower. That actually doesn't really do anything at all. <laughs> because, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I hope he doesn't have Freeze. If he freezes, we're dead, dude. Sir, please don't freeze me. Sir, please. You know what? We're dead regardless, though. What was that Valkyrie doing? Did you guys see that? She was like walking into the tower, just like not doing anything. No, don't do that, Valkyrie. Don't be a nub. Snowball there. I mean, he snowballs and he arrows. It's okay. It is what it is, dude. Can't believe that Valkyrie. Like she was like this, like rock walking into that tower, being a nub, being a big old noob. All right, so this is not looking good, guys. This is a very not good outcome of this battle so far. It's not what we wanted to have. Not what we wanted to see. But in the end, we'll just pretend that uh, he's going to freeze right here, isn't he? This deck does not have a good graveyard counter, despite having Valkyrie. The reason I say that is because we have no poison, no zap, no log. Nothing for like that, right? Snowball. Oh, Barbarians. Nasty, dude. Look at those bats, though, guys. Look at those bats. Look at those bats, dude. Y'all didn't look at those bats. One Valkyrie shot. Dang, Daniel. Does not finish it off there. All right. Now, I cannot go... Uh, I'm going to go Miner here. I cannot rocket that, unfortunately. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. One of these. Nail us back here. Rocket this. Boom. There we go. That's how you do it, dude. That's how you do it. Where's your giant, buddy? Where's your giant? There it is. Okay. Nail us back here. No damage for you, please. Okay. So how many minor wall breakers do we need here to win? How many minor rockets, rather? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got, dude? Here we go. One of these here. Valkyrie here. Destroys most of that stuff. Need us back here. This here. There we go, buddy. Like this here, please. Destroy that, please. One more minor sneaking in there. Wallbreaker almost gets through, guys. Now we just need a rocket here to win. Rocket right meow. Skeleton's going down. Oh, juicy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that one was a little bit more difficult than I expected. Um, but sometimes that happens, man. <laughs> sometimes that happens. All right, let's go ahead and open up our crown chest over here. Get one more lightning strike, or I call them, or as I call them, garbage strikes. Because lightning strikes have a tendency to never give you anything that you want, I've noticed. Uh, but yeah, let's keep on going on, guys. That last battle was a bit trickier because obviously, like, honestly, if you would have had zap or bar barrel or, or snowball or log, so much easier because you could just clear out all the gall or the skeletons when they, when they build up. But without any of those smaller spells in there, you don't have a quick, immediate answer to destroy the built-up skeletons. And uh, surprisingly, 
the uh, Valkyrie is like she's good. She's great. But she does have a harder time of hitting the things behind the thing. If that makes sense, dudes. Here we go. Was waiting for a spell of some variety. Golem first play, dude. This guy's insane, man. Look how much damage this golem does. Literally, the golem was the only thing that hit her tower there. And still, still does that much damage, dudes. You're you're all you're telling me right now, guys, that that's not busted. Uh, to that, I say what. To that, I just say what. What do you say to that? I say that. You say this. I say that. Wait for it. All right. Executioner. Get that baby D down, please. All right, I see ya. Let's go minor right here, right in front. He's gonna go Lumberjack. I'm so smart, dude. I'm so smart, man. Valkyrie here. Maybe get a wall breakers to support this Valkinator. Risky, but aggressive. Right? Ooh, that hurts. That's not the way what you want to see, guys, at all. No, sir. No, sir, man. That's here. Night Witch is dead. Miner here, please. Support the bats. All right, that tower should go down, guys. Despite the NATO, it should still go down. Can I rocket something here, dude? I really want to rocket something, please. Mm. No. Don't fall for it, Shane. It's here. Get us back here. Valkyrie here. There we go, baby. Executioner here, please. Here we go. Nice. It's dead. Night Witch is dead as well. It's here. Uh, I don't know how that Night Witch did not die, but uh, it is what it is, dude. Just rocket here to finish this tower off, guys. No more messing around, dude. No more messing around. Oh, we got the Lumberjack in there as well, guys. Nasty. Where's your poison? He's got poison right now. Oh, poor dude. 64 health. Oh, I kind of feel bad for him. But at the same time, not really. GG's, man. GG's. That was... Um, I mean, he could have won. He could have won. Is that grammar? He could have won. Could have won, but he didn't. 64 health, man. Feel bad now. But as I was saying before, not really. <laughs> Alright, guys. Last live battle of the evening, probably. Maybe. We'll see. But we're gonna go... Should I go aggressive? Should I go more aggressive than I should be? Should I just go stupid aggressive from the start? What could, what's the worst that could possibly go wrong? Huh? What's the worst thing that could go... He, he might have... What is he What is he going to have, huh? Fireball here? Is he going to fireball this? No? Okay. Alright. So. 2.6 Hog Rider. 2.6 Hog Rider is actually a really good deck versus this one. Because he's got a faster cycle than you do. So that means he always has Log, uh, Cannon... He always has cards in rotation to counter your um, to counter your thing. He actually might have a more expensive version, given the uh, nope. He does not. Ah, oh, nubby nub Shane. Nubby nub Shane is a noob. Nubby nub Shane is a noob. Nubby nub Shane is a noob. Look at that miner just going to town though, eh? Uh, the reason I'm saying I'm a nub there, guys, is we just failed that push overall. But the miner got some good damage done. Respectable, to say the least. I really prefer if he would give us a uh, cane tower activation, though, right now. Bats here. Where's your fireball, dude? I know you got fireball in there. Oh, I didn't think that would hit all three of them. Wow, that sucks, dude. That fire was a lot bigger than I than I had anticipated, dude. Now we lose. 
Now we do lose, dude. Now we do lose. Wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, talk about misplays, guys. Let's talk about misplays. That, I didn't think the fireball. I thought the I thought the two wallbreakers would have gotten out of that fireball. I really thought they did. I thought they were far enough away. But unfortunately, I was wrong, dude. You know that back? Here we go, baby. Where's your hog rider? Huh? Right here, baby. <laughs> Get wrecked, buddy. But now, here's the problem, dudes. Yeah, this yeah, he can we can he can easily outcycle us. He'll always have fireball log or uh, something in hand for my stuff. Like literally, can never do anything here. Here we go. Nice. There we go. Valkyrie here, please. Come on, baby. Am I gonna get some chip damage done, and then he's gonna two, he's two fireballs away from winning, or one hog rider. Oh, die, please. Die, please, hog. Nice. There we go. So we got one last chance here to win. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. This, sir, please don't fireball me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for using this deck. It's disgusting. Ah, good game. It's a, it's a, t it's a really tough matchup to win, guys. 2.6 Hog Rider. Also, I'm a noob. <laughs> All right, guys. Go ahead here. Finish the video off with one replay against our dear friend, Blue, who's rocking a Splash Yard deck. All right? So, um, thankfully, he's got Poison in there, not Freeze, because obviously Freeze counters Valkyrie. Poison does not. However, with that being said, we still don't really have the best graveyard counters in this deck, so still gonna be a bit careful. Now we're gonna go Wallbreakers here on the right. He E Wizards it, destroys it, then we go skeletons and bats for the E Wizard. And then I think we go minor here as well to capitalize on this one bat. Never mind, no, we don't. And I think we actually start going uh minor right here, dude. Minor left lane. Now here's the thing, we know he's got NATO in his deck, so I'm gonna try not to use my Miner in that spot that he can NATO to his King Tower. Gonna get an Execution down here to destroy his Baby D, get my Valkyrie ready for his Boulder left lane. Now if he were smart, he could actually go Graveyard here, and we wouldn't be able to counter it, right? Because we have to use the Valkyrie for the Boulder. So Valkyrie goes down, he does not go Graveyard, thankfully. Execution on the right, guys, destroys that Knight fairly nicely, with a Wallbreakers here to support our uh, Valkyrie left lane. He goes NATO, and then he goes E-Wizard, which honestly is 7 Elixir to counter my Wallbreakers, because I already used the Valkyrie for the Bowler. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So we have a 600 damage lead here so far. Doing pretty well against Mr. Blue from Ohio Legends. Now, here's the thing as well. Have I said that before? I feel like I keep saying here's the thing a lot. Maybe I need a new, a new saying. How do you guys say here's the thing without saying here's the thing? What's your, what's your backup saying, if you say that? <laughs> uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead here. I believe Rocket the Baby Dragon, and we don't actually miss this one. Never mind, guys. Never mind. <laughs> we... How did I not know that? This is a, a replay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually forgot about that. That was a battle. This is a battle from a while ago, so I forgot. Anyways, we got the wall breakers almost to the tower. He was, it goes down and still no wall breaker damage. However, he always has to commit a ton of elixir to counter those wall breakers, so I'm kind of okay with it. Now, he's going to go ahead here with a baby D. We're going to get the natal ready for, uh, yes, rocket. Rocket. Destroy the bowler. Destroy the baby D. He's going to keep cycling back to some more defensive cards. Keep uh, keep blocking my Miner there. Going to go Valkyrie here with an Executioner for his uh, Knight. Yes. In the, yes, right there in the river. Now watch this. Guys. Watch and learn right here. We NATO everything together. Executioner does something. Look at this. Look, look, look how OP the Executioner is. Destroys the Bullet. Destroys the E-Wizard. Destroys the freaking Baby Dragon. Like, What? In what world does the Executioner need a buff? Wow. 
Anyways, oh, we destroyed the tower, guys. Both wall breakers get through. Pretty big push coming back at us right now, though. So Executioner uh, will clean house right now, uh, doing fairly well. The Buller does, the Buller's an okay counter for that. No, he tries to get sneaky here. He tries to punish on the right lane. Obviously, we don't have a small spell or a uh, or a uh, poison. So he does get a good a bit of damage to our tower there. But the Nato helps save the day and keeps our tower at 2,000 health. Now, going to go in once more, guys. Valkyrie, Wallbreakers, left lane. Get back to our miner. Get his tower down to rocket cycle range. Miner going down right here. He Nato's it back. Miner is distracted by the skeletons. And an E was right here. But the rocket going down. Almost finishing off his bowler. And now all we need is one more rocket to finish the game off. So, what do I do, you ask? Good question. Good question. I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Gonna go a Valkyrie here for the graveyard. Executioner for the baby D. Get our miner ready for his tower. We have rocket locked and loaded. Rocket going down right meow. Or no. Miner wall breakers and then a rocket. He defends the uh, wall breakers with a bowler. Nato's it back, but now we rock it for the win, guys. And a one crown victory over a splash yard deck with a uh, wall breaker, minor, rocket, cycle. Uh, yeah, GG's. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and use it yourself. Uh, as you saw, guys, it has a very high win percentage right now uh, on the ladder in Clash Royale. Currently, the second highest win percentage the past 24 hours the top 1,000 leaderboard uh, out of all of the popular decks being played. So, obviously, wall breakers are still very much viable inside of the game, just not nearly as broken as they once were. But anyways, guys, that's the end. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.